When a lion roars, all the jackals hide, and when India speaks, the world listens. Eyes were already on the new Rafals and Tejas Mark II, but India just did what nobody expected. It sounded a clarion call in the skies that sent ripples from Beijing to Washington. The Indian Air Force didn't announce 120, it announced 250 MKAS. This isn't about a single fighter jet anymore. This is a 1.2 lakh crore rupee crusade that will push India into the club of sixth generation combat aircraft makers. India didn't stop at Rafale. India is building its own stealth titan, the MKA, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, a warrior that won't appear on enemy radar, one that will command swarms of 100 drones at once, one that will cruise at super cruise speeds and win tomorrow's wars today. This is not an ordinary project. It is the highest flight of India's self-reliance. DRDO, ADA and HAL, India's premier institutions, are joining hands to build the force that won't just match the US, Russia or China. It will aim to outpace them. The MKA is a 25-ton, twin-engine, low-observable warrior. Built with advanced materials and signature reducing design, it will be invisible to even the most sophisticated radars. Its weapons will be carried internally, no underwing missiles to create radar reflections. And its defining feature, super cruise. That means sustained flight at 1.5 times the speed of sound without afterburners. This is not a fighter, this is a phantom of the skies. Hard to see, lethal when it strikes. India is not just making the MKA fast, it's smart. The aircraft will be outfitted with artificial intelligence and sensor fusion. That means a 360 degree awareness of the battle space. It will detect threats, analyze the environment, and autonomously decide the optimal moments to act. This is the kind of integrated situational awareness currently seen only on top platforms like the US F3 concept or China's J20 family soon to be in India's hands. The most formidable variant will be the MKA MK2, not merely a fifth generation fighter, but a 5.5 generation platform. It will feature manned unmanned teaming, a single pilot controlling 10, 20, or even 50 killer drones. Drones will go ahead, cripple enemy air defenses, and keep the pilot safely 100 kilometers away from danger. This technology will rewrite the face of combat, Enemies won't know whether they're being struck by a manned jet or an AI-driven swarm. But India's ambition doesn't end there. After 2035, India will field the MKAMK3, the country's first true sixth-generation fighter. Picture-directed energy weapons, hypersonic missiles, adaptive stealth coatings. This will be less an aircraft and more a futuristic arsenal. Critics will ask, why spend so much? But this is not spending. It's investment in India's next century. When India buys Rafales from France, money goes abroad. When India announces 250 MKAS, money stays in India. Contracts flow to HAL and AD and to private giants like LNT and hundreds of MSMES that will make every nut and bolt. Millions of jobs will be created. India's defense industrial ecosystem will be built. India will shift from importer to exporter. No longer will we stand with a hat in hand asking for weapons. We will say, we make them. If you want, we'll sell them. This announcement is not just a defense contract. It's geopolitics with teeth. It is a clear message to China. Your J-20 won't be the only advanced platform in the region. It reminds the United States that India is no longer merely a customer. It's a competitor. And to Pakistan, the era of F-6s is over. Make no mistake, this is a fleet that will make India's Air Force future ready. From the Himalayas to the Indian Ocean, India's skies will become a no-fly zone for adversaries. This 1.2 lakh crore rupees program is the launch of India's aerospace revolution. It is not a dream. It is India's roadmap to becoming a 21st century superpower.